Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show sort of a neutral toned, warm pink kind of effect for your photos that I will be doing on Lightroom, as you can see on the photos that you're seeing now on the screen. So if this is something that you're interested in doing for your photos, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So first I have the photo pulled up on Lightroom Mobile and I'm using it on my iPad. It may look a little bit different if you're using it on your phone, just the layout, but everything's the same. The photo that I am using is not mine. I just found it on Pinterest. So I'm gonna start in making adjustments with the light. And let me just say that any change that I make may be different for your photo. If your photo is darker than mine, you may want to bring the exposure up more. If it has more shadows or less shadows, adjusting the shadows from there. So I'm bringing the exposure up to about 0.25. The highlights down to about negative 15. I bring the shadows up to about 48. I'm bringing the whites down to negative 15. And the blacks, I'm just going to bring those down a little bit, negative 8. So for the curve, I'm just going to adjust the top of the curve, bringing it down a little bit. And I added points along the curve just so it wouldn't affect the rest of my line. But I'm just going to bring the top down just a tad so that it kind of creates that toned down sort of effect with my highlights where they're not as vibrant. They're a little bit washed out in more of like that neutral kind of color. Now, once that I'm done with my curve, I'm going to move on to color. I'm going to bring the temp up to about 10, and I'm bringing the tint up to about 20. The vibrance, I'm going to bring that up as well, about 27, somewhere around there should be good for you. And then the saturation, I'm bringing that down about negative 24-ish. Now I'm clicking the rainbow color wheel next to color, and that'll open up my color mix to help adjust each individual color. So from there, I'm not gonna touch my reds, but I'm gonna move on to my oranges. And so like that's her skin tone that we're gonna be adjusting this image. And I'm gonna bring the, t the hue up 16, just because since we added that pink tint, her skin tone kind of turned more red. And so I wanna kind of cancel that out, bringing the hue up. Now the saturation, I'm gonna bring that up 10, and the luminance, I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit. Be careful with this. You don't wanna overdo it and make it look like you just edited it on like a fake spray tan. You want it to look like somewhat natural. And the yellow luminance, I'm bringing that up uh, somewhere around 40-ish, 38. That looks good. Now I'm moving on to green. For the green, I'm bringing the luminance up 48 and the saturation I'm moving that down somewhere around 10 negative 10 that looks good again with the greens you don't want to overdo it make your like your grass and your image look like it has no saturation at all just like minor small adjustments um for blue I'm bringing the saturation down negative 9 negative 10 same somewhere around there and the luminance I'll bring that up 20 just a little brighten that sky up some so that's all of the editing I'm gonna do for color. And now I'm gonna go down to effects. And I am gonna bring the clarity up five just to kind of sharpen it up a little bit. Now on to split toning. So this is gonna affect the hue of your highlights and your shadows. So for my highlights, I want kind of an orange color. And you kind of have to play around with it just cause it's hard to click on your device and move around in such small adjustments. But the hue I'm going for is 44 so somewhere around there and my saturation I want that at 13 so I'm just kind of moving around until I get it somewhere around there 13 12 somewhere onto my shadows I want kind of like a blue purple color so around somewhere on hue 277 that's just what I picked but somewhere around there will work and my saturation I have it at five and I want my balance to be about plus 44. Okay, so that is literally it. Um, as you can see, this is the before image, and then this is the after. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful, and subscribe for more.